Hey guys, it's Chuck97 here, back with another tutorial. This time we're going to be showing you guys a way to make simple cobblestone walls using lava and water. It's quite an easy strategy which, you know, is relatively clean. You don't normally get Swiss cheese walls or any of that fun stuff. And I'm mixing it up today because normally you guys know that I'll just edit and do a voiceover on top. But I'm doing some live commentary. I know, I know, next gen shit right there. And with me today, I've got I Try Hardy, who's like, you know, better than me at building walls. So he's going to be doing most of it. But basically, what he's showing you right now is the small frame which you're going to build to place the lava and build your walls. So I'm just going to TP up to you, I Try. Um, slash TPA. And once we get up there, you'll see he's making a small line of cobblestone. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place some lava. Um, if you want, you can uh, go ahead and place it right underneath each block. Right yeah, away. I'll go for it. So we're gonna place some lava just underneath each block, right here. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna spread out in both directions, so that it comes down in like a, a three wide thickness, as it were. And what this will let us do is it'll let us. Um, create a wall, uh, two walls for the price of one because it's gonna make the lava on both sides of this cobblestone frame become walls and you'll see what I mean in a minute um, yeah, just gonna keep- OH GOD! alright, I almost placed that in the wrong place so I'm not sure whether I'm pl oh, placing it in the right place, I'm tr I hope so I have to place it on each block, yeah? Because there's yeah. resource blocks. All right. Yeah, I think that should be good right there. Easy peasy. And, uh, basically, now we're just waiting. <laughs> yeah, you got to make sure that the lava go flows all the way down to the bottom of your wall before you do anything else. Cause otherwise, it will mess up your wall. Apparently. Mhm. Mm so, and you know, because of the whole vessel deciding to make lava go a lot slower. Um, so it's going to take even longer, four times longer than it would in vanilla Minecraft. So, But ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that, so smooth transition, BAM! Okay, now that all the lava's flown all the way down to the bottom, we're going to mine away the bit that I'm standing on right now. So we're going to get rid of all this so then it won't like interfere with the water flowing down. And basically what we need to do now is we need to cover all of this cobblestone with water. And what that'll do is it'll flow down and make all of the, s the edges of the lava, which aren't the source block, turn to beautiful cobblestone. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have your beautiful walls on either side. Right then, that's good. Oh, I missed a bit. Alright. So, hippity hop back up here. And, oh, oh shit, does that even matter, like, this bit? No, 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 that's okay. You I can keep it there. I couldn't get but rid of it. But before we do that, let's make a little spot we could stand on after. Yeah. Once Okay, so uh, if you want, we'll, we'll, I'll, st I'll place ice and break it. Alright. Um, yeah, so we're just going to place ice because it's easier than using buckets of water. So I, I'd, yeah. Oh, one well, already melted. It's okay. And so we're just going to break all this ice, and you can see all, already the lava's solidifying into cobblestone. And as the water flows down, it, it might take a little bit of time, it might look like it's not doing much, but eventually it will turn to cobblestone and that's what I call easy peasy lemon squeezy so this time we're gonna wait for all of the lava on the sides to solidify and it looks like it might have done that already it's quite quick oh not on this I'm not sure yeah that's still a strip over there it's weird <laughs> sometimes it just goes fast yeah. and then but then like it will fill in all those patches it's just slow yeah just Sometimes it likes to take a while and bits of it. As you can see, it's still a bit of lava right here. Tell if I swim into it, it hurts me. Not a good thing. But it does look nice. Not sure why I have my sound turned off. But. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I think I just broke it. But, um. Yeah, so I'm gonna guess we have to wait for this bad boy to flow all the way down. So, be right back! Smooth transition! And we're back. As you can see, there's only one block at the bottom of each thingy majigging. But now that's all done. Um, got some water flowing here. Uh, now that's all done, we're gonna next.
sort out the top because you know we might have a wall now but as you can see in the middle we still have a layer of lava so we need to sort that out so I'm just going to TP back up to the top TPA it tree hardy Yay. and once we get back up to the top we can start sorting out this lava so basically what we need to do is we need to get rid of the lava blocks the lava source blocks that we originally placed and there's two ways of doing this either you can break these blocks I'm going to show you an example and that will make obsidian and you can do it all the way along and then break all the obsidian this will eventually have all the lava flow down because the source block has been you know destroyed but I don't really like breaking obsidian because it's an absolute you know annoyance to do so instead what we're going to show you is uh, us doing it with sponge all you have to do is just place sponge down and Bessel has it set so that sponge will also remove the lava so as you can see we're missing a bunch of lava here now because the sponge has removed it but we're just going to keep on oh that's ice definitely not the right one so we're going to break this ice and we're going to keep on break, uh, placing sponge down get rid of all this water lava whatever's under here the only bad thing about using a sponge is it does get rid of the water which you're then going to have to replace afterwards but the good thing is you have to break obsidian and now all the lava's gone so we can break all the sponge now that we've done that we'll start breaking all the cobblestone as well but this time we're now going to have to wait for all the lava to flow back down so it's disappeared so be right back welcome back guys um, as you can see, the lava is almost done, and what I realise is, is that we actually should probably keep this uh, layer of cobblestone right here, because now we're going to be able to simply place ice on it again, so that we can water cover our walls a lot more easily. Uh, so if we just place all those and then start breaking them again, then it will give us another layer of um, water, and this will once we break the cobblestone like we're going to do now then it will also flow down the center I hope all that lava's gone it's not but oh well but Yo. say like one block it looks like it's alright but yeah so the reason why we had to keep this layer of cobblestone is because uh, when you break ice above just air it doesn't uh, form into water but now that we've broken that you can see that we've got two nice perfect cobblestone walls with water pouring over each side, separating them, so you got an easy, easy build for some water covered cobblestone walls. And the great thing about this kind of thing is that you can just do loads of them at once and just go AFK while they all sort themselves out. But it's like, it's not really much hassle at all because all you have to do is just place all the lava, wait for it to flow, then place some water and wait for it to flow, <laughs> and then break the lava and wait for it to flow, and you're done. He's you throwing golden apples at me. Just go kill yourself. Oh, f <laughs> All right. So that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that easy peasy top tip factions raiding defenses. Oh, I broke it. But yeah. Um. So we're gonna go over to I Try Hardy's base where I'm gonna give you coordinate. I mean, we're just gonna show you the walls and how how much you can actually do with uh, this kind of a technique. So TP, TP away. God, we're back. I try hard. He's sh really bad at getting me outside his base. But here we go. You can look at all these beautiful walls. You can't really because you can only see a small portion of it. But wait, how big is your base? Two by two. Oh, okay. Wait, so the walls don't actually go out that far yet? Yeah, it goes. Um, all right. Got like a hundred on each side. Basically. This is beautiful, and you can see all. Of, oh, okay, now I see. So the walls do go quite far out. So you can see all of these walls. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Look at this. this is like bloody. I don't know. A really big sandwich with many layers. Oh my <laughs> God, Jesus! This is okay. I said your walls didn't go that far. I lied. Yep. These are seriously. And oh can, God! I fell on a hole. Um. <laughs> Oh, here, Tiffy. I'm ready. Alright, well. Yeah, so this is what you could be like. You could be like the. Oh, pearls. What do you mean I can't. Oh, Alright, so yeah, if you ever want to be like a flipping faggot like I try hardy, yep. just do that strat and you'll get a big, big load of wolves. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That is the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. I am done Arino. Uh, comment, suggestions as to what I should do. I don't know, give me feedback. Yeah, like if you like, dislike, whatever. Subscribe, done. Easy peasy, bye. Link to I Try Hardy's is in the channel description. Nice.